If we can just have quietness everywhere. Quiet, please. We have a couple of awards to present. We are on air at the moment. Let's show everyone at home how we do it at Port Melbourne, or you do it at Port Melbourne. Hang on. The award. The award for the for the award for the best player, which is sponsored by Siebel and Puma, who have been very good to the VFA throughout the year. Today has gone, well it could have gone to a number of players, and I'll tell you what we did. We went along to the uh, Port Melbourne uh, officials who were sitting next to us and we said we want you to nominate players. We went back, we used our commentators and we counted up the first votes. And the player who came out on top was Tony O'Brien. <laughs> Tony, and that's sheer jubilation. Oh. All right. Well, Tony, congratulations. It must be a big thrill to be voted best on the ground in a grand final and a fact of premiership side. Oh, I've been waiting all my life. This is it. Oh, it's tremendous. Right. Well, we have beside us at the moment Gary Bryce. Maybe you'd like to pay a compliment to your uh, captain and coach, Gary Bryce. Yes. You know, from all the players, from all the people around at uh, Port, you know, he's just, the man... Just hang on one minute. No, no. Hey, right, hey, come on. Right. Tony Abaya, at the moment, is about to say something about captain and coach Gary Bryce. Our viewers at home can hear, but I want you people to hear as well. So let's have a bit of quietness. Uh, on behalf of all the players and all the, all the committee at Port and our followers, if it wasn't for Gary, I doubt very much if we really would have got here. He, he's lifted us and he's carried us right through the finals. And thanks, Gary. I think that's thanks from everyone. Well, there it was, the scene in the Pop Melbourne dressing room. And now, one slightly different over in the Coburg rooms to Ted Henry's. Right from the